the main thing is like finding out what God has made you for and gifted you for and using that and what you love doing. Visual arts and, and other kinds of arts is what I love doing. That's what makes me feel alive. We live in a culture that's quite, you know, it's like really used to mass production and things just being churned out in moulds and um, there being like hundreds of them. You, you need to sell in places, I guess, where there's an understanding where this is like handmade, it's, there's like more skill, there's more, they're more unique. Sometimes I incorporate, um, like in, in the inside of my rings, I will write like a Bible verse or I'll maybe choose a kind of unexpected verse. I give one to a friend that it was like the bit where it's says that you're worth more than many sparrows. It's quite funny because she's, um, she's not like a believer or anything, but she loves the whole idea of like this verse and um, she tells everyone about it. <laughs> because I'm a visual artist, like aesthetics is really important for me. The lighting, the kind of feel of the room that I'm working in is important. I'll have around me objects that kind of maybe mean something to me or just things that I like the look of and that kind of capture a little bit part of myself and what I feel comfortable with and it kind of it's like a way of sort of getting to know myself and feeling at home in my environment. Sometimes it's a question of if you're not feeling inspired maybe just going for a walk or nature is really inspiring for me so sometimes I just need to switch off and like go into the garden or do something completely different. Well, this is an evergreen oak tree, so it doesn't lose its leaves in the winter. I'm really lucky in that I live in, in a great place in Barcelona. And it's in a natural park, so it's quite, um, it's in nature as well. I love the hustle and bustle of the city, but it's, I really love being able to like come back here and just um, like wake up in the morning to like bird singing and green and nature. I'll get a lot of inspiration in my time with God or just like through like meeting him in nature. In modern life there's so many kind of distractions and other things going on. It's good to have to kind of get away from that. I had been working on an installation which I call Seven Rings of Light or the Tunnel of Light, um, which is made up of seven rings that get concentrically smaller. It's kind of more of an experience that happens to you than uh, like just, you know, kind of watching something flat. I had a friend who was do in synchronized swimming and um, she did a performance with the sculpture under the water. I work a lot with universal symbols because in every different culture, they have like similar meanings. Water can be kind of a symbol of rebirth and positivity and like renewal and, and growth and baptism and things like that, but it can also be a symbol of destruction. It's kind of respect and awe and fear maybe. Jesus could have just said, well, imagine that I'm just kind of like immersed in water, or imagine that I'm baptised, but it, he had to actually do it. We don't really understand why it's like a big deal to God, maybe, but it, it is, it must be. He's interested in like beauty and symbols and numbers and yeah, I don't know, like all these things. So I'm kind of, I guess I'm encouraged and inspired by the fact that that seems really important to God. And I get excited when I read all of those bits and kind of try and tune into that. The ultimate thing, I guess, is just that I'm doing what God's gifted me to do and um, what I love to do as well. And he's helped me to discover what I love to do.